Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nerd Den here, and today I am going to be doing a different type of video, and I thought just to say thank you to the Doctor Who YouTube content creators who have done a fantastic job over lockdown, and even before that they were absolutely kicking ass, and I thought, you know what, in terms of, it's not really a shout out because these guys are like higher tier Doctor Who YouTubers, they do a lot of amazing high quality content, and I thought, you know what, the been really good in the past with interacting with fans and you know providing us with some awesome content to watch during uh, the lockdown period I thought well you know what I'm gonna be giving back to them and I'm gonna be talking about why I like their content because you know we all need a little bit of positivity so yeah without further ado let's get into the video So the first channel that I'm going to be talking about today is Ace Creeper. Now Ace Creeper recently has had his channel um, had some complications and he doesn't have access to it. But uh, Ace Creeper does a lot of Doctor Who content uh, ranging from rankings to episode reviews and um, you know the quality of his content is absolutely outstanding. I, I really enjoy his content just because Again, it's really high quality, and I know he's a very interactive YouTuber on Twitter. He always asks, answers questions, and is honestly a really cool guy. And if you guys want to support him, be sure to subscribe to his main channel as well. But also be sure to subscribe to his new one. That's like a temporary account until his new one gets sorted, because he does a really good job on Doctor Who content and. For me personally, he is a huge inspiration, or one of the huge inspirations that have inspired me to do Doctor Who content in the first place. So yeah, please check him out. It would mean a lot to me. Now the next channel I am going to be shouting out is the Whoadix, because honestly, they are like one of the OGs. And I remember watching these back in the day, like before the 50th anniversary, I believe, I remember watching their videos leading up to it, and they've done some really good theory videos in the past, and there were so many favourites that I used to love, such as, like, speculating how the Master became Missy, and the classic Who re reviews that they've been doing recently, I love tuning in, and any form of retro reviews they do for the, like, the live streams and that, I really love, you know, and it gives me a chance to, like, talk to the Doc T community, and I am grateful for their contribution and honestly I am so happy with the content that they've done because again like Ace Creeper they they also were one of the big channels that inspired me to make Doctor Who content for series 12 as series 12 is like the first time I've ever made Doctor Who content and I'm really happy that I've made that decision because I've met plenty of people who are as passionate about Doctor Who as I am and yeah I'm very grateful. Be sure to check them out. Now, the next channel, the, the the next Doctor Who channel I am going to be shouting out is Crispy Pro, who, again, is another big Doctor Who YouTuber who does a lot of, um, you know, a, a variety of different Doctor Who videos, ranging from theories to sketches and, obviously, episode reviews as well. And, th again, the videos are so high quality. I, I love it. And Crispy Pro has done a fantastic job with song parodies as well. Taylor Swift. No Doctor Who that, you know, it should just be a number one hit, to be honest. And it's definitely something that I relate to at the moment, because there is no Doctor Who on TV. Uh, we got to wait till Christmas. But yeah, anyway, check out Crispy Pro. He's done a fantastic job with his channel, and yeah, spread some positivity. Now, the next one is Go Doctor Who. And now, I've only just started watching their content, uh, just because I've, I've, I've seen this channel being shared around on Twitter a lot. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. And you know what? He's done a really good job, and his videos are absolutely amazing. And I've loved the uh, like it's like top fives that he's done uh, with uh, five things that make the fifth Doctor Grey, and you know, giving some positivity to each Doctor's incarnation. I love that, and like the ranking videos, always like to hear the individuals' uh, reasoning for that specific ranking, and he does a fantastic job on doing that. So. Welcome to the Hugh community, buddy. You're doing a really good job. I would like to give a shout out to the Who Chaser, who is a Doc 2 cosplayer and also does a lot of uh, Doc 2 related videos, including theories and episode reviews, and also some top 10s as well. But most recently, 
they've started their own fan audio series called Doctor Who Remnants that I've really enjoyed listening to. So be sure to listen to his new series and you know what? Leave a like and subscribe because he's done a fantastic job. But also this leads into my next favourite Doctor Who YouTube channel as well. Uh, the person who runs the channel has also starred in the DW2012 Doctor Who fan series and he is the current incarnation and this fan show is so so addictive and really amazing very well produced the all the actors and actresses in this little fan series is amazing and I absolutely love the content that they do and even though sometimes it can take a while for the episodes to come out they are definitely worth the wait and you can tell that they've put a lot of thought process into getting these episodes out. References a lot of like the uh, TV series as well. And I just love it. I completely geek out watching their content. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of the Dot TV community for producing content like that. It is heartwarming, not gonna lie. Also, I want to give a shout out to William Hu, who has been a very active member in the Doc 2 community and recently did a rewatch on my birthday actually of The Woman Who Felt Worth that was Jodie Whittaker's debut episode that I fully enjoyed and then there was the audio prequel as well that adds a lot of depth into that regeneration and the whole thought process. I loved it. It was very well produced and you should definitely check that out so be sure to check out William Who. And then the second to last one that I'm doing is uh, Doc 2 Revolution because they are one of the most active members of my uh, YouTube channel and yeah, they do a lot of Doc 2 content. They've done some fan-made uh, titles for the Fugitive Doctor played by Joe Martin and of course they were the ones who did the Sonic uh, YouTube poop movie trailer that I absolutely loved and yeah, they are really good at editing and they deserve a lot more subscribers. So if you guys enjoy their content, please subscribe because they deserve a lot. Now, the final channel uh, that I have been watching a lot recently that is related to Doctor Who is Doctor Who Adventures. And they do a lot of high quality content uh, from the animations to the reviews and everything like that. It, it's just a such... It's a very well-produced channel. And... I'm honestly hooked on every single video that they bring out and to be honest when I first watched their videos I didn't look at subscriber count or anything like that I was like oh okay they're really good they are really good and very talented at what they do and then I was like wow they haven't even got 1k subscribers yet like what but honestly be sure to check out their content because again they always comment on my videos and I absolutely love their content, so just re re return the favour and uh, give them a like, because honestly their content is really addictive as well, like, it's very immersive, and that for me is when you know that their content is good, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video here, be sure to check out the channels that I've mentioned, because they are honestly a huge inspiration to me for Doctor Who content, and especially now Doc 2's off air, that they're doing a lot of um, different ways to keep us Whovians entertained over the uh, lockdown period and also the off-season period of when Doc 2's not on air. So yeah, check them out and I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.